Good afternoon, my friends. Welcome back. We are in Delam, where we left off in the last episode, and we were getting ready, going on our Black Friday shopping spree, purchasing all the items we might need for the next part of the game. I did a little inventory cleaning out off screen. Um, I still need to call Scargo Express because I want to get rid of some of Jeff's stuff. But look, I mean, I bought brain food lunches for Ness. Paula, I pretty much cleaned everything out. She had a bunch of life noodles that we don't need anymore. And then Jeff, I want to get rid of some of his weapons, like the baddest beam I don't need. I don't need the crystal charm. I don't really need any of these things because it, really all I need is the bazooka for him. And then I added a few brain food lunches to Pooh. So that's pretty much good. Next, we're gonna head to, um, wow, this is really loud, hold on. Turn that down a bit, Jesus. Game sound was like blowing up my ears all of a sudden once I got out of that building. Next, we're gonna head to Deep Darkness because I wanna get some multi-battle rockets. So let's do that. I think actually there we can call. Yeah, we'll call when we're there. We'll run over to the phone real quick and then uh, get a Scargo Express. I wish I could just get down from here, that would be nice, because there's the phone. But nope, gotta go all the way through the, the uh, puddle here. Unless there's another, I don't think there is another spot, no there really isn't, okay. Well there's the guy I need to talk to, but let's just go get this taken care of. I'm gonna get this inventory right before we move on. Um, Alright, I guess I gotta go up this way, kinda forget my way through here, it's been a while since we've been in deep darkness. <laughs> Don't remember it very well. Get out of the water. Okay. So let's get a Scargo Express. All right. We'll pick some uh, some stuff up. Pretty much I just want to clean out Jeff's inventory because I want to have as many multi-bottle rockets as I can for him. And then in summers, we'll go get the super plush bears and just load up Paul's inventory with that. And that should be good enough. And then we can move on. All right. We are going to get rid of... The shield killer? It really, it doesn't matter what I get rid of, honestly. Uh, 100 grade HP sucker might actually be useful. I don't need the baddest beam. And then... What else? Uh, the crystal charm? I mean, I don't know why I have that. I don't really need that anymore. So get rid of those. Perfect! <laughs> he just ran through the water. You can go quick. Why can't we go that quick? All right, so that leaves me room for one, two, three, four, five of those. Should I get rid of one more thing? I don't really think. Um, nah, this is good enough. We'll be fine. I'm not going to worry about it. I don't think we're going to use up all the multi-bottle rockets anyways. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. We'll find out soon. Okay. Where is Mr. Multi-Bottle Rocket Salesman? Here you are. I should have plenty of money. I want all your multi-bottle rockets. This is gonna take a little bit. Yes, I need more. Give me all that you can. This guy's just an infinite amount of these things. Okay. This is gonna take a little bit to do this for Paula, now that I'm thinking about it, because she's got a ton of space. get another one here it's really not much for me to talk about today it's uh, November 25th it's Saturday it's like 2 40 in the afternoon I'm really tired today I got up early and it's just now catching up to me I really haven't done much today I got some Christmas stuff out I'm gonna decorate tonight probably get my tree up wait that, that was the last thing right I don't think I need anything else but yeah I'll probably get the tree up tonight and that way tomorrow when my son wakes up he will see it for the first time as a surprise, which is kind of cool, so that'll be exciting. Outside of that, I think I might go out to dinner tonight to a brewery. I don't really feel like drinking a lot. It's more just to go check out this room that we're going to rent for a birthday party. So not a lot going on in my uh, my life right now on this weekend. I really just wanted to take a day to chill out because like hosting Thanksgiving and all that. And I had to work a little bit of Friday. So today is like my actual chill day, which is nice. All right, summers, it's good to be back. Feel that warmth since it's like 28 degrees out right now, which sucks. Wait, go in the building. <laughs> I thought I was going in the building. There we go. Yeah, it sucks. It's so cold out today. It's supposed to snow tonight, actually. 
All right, super plush bears. I don't think it's actually gonna be anything significant though. I think they're talking like one to two inches might stick, but it's supposed to snow for a couple hours. So we'll see what happens. They always say it's gonna snow a lot and then you get like a dusting. And then when they say it's supposed to be nothing, it ends up being something, so. As of right now, they're saying it's gonna be something, so it's probably gonna be nothing. But time will tell, it's supposed to go from like four until 10 a.m. So I'll be asleep during the start of it. Which means I shall wake up and it should be a winter wonderland, which I do kind of like. Jesus. So many of these things. They're gonna come in so much handy. Like, seriously, they're gonna help so much. Gotta have them. And they're, they're perfect for Paula, because what else does she need? Really nothing. Um, I actually want to leave space for one thing for Paula, so I can buy one more after this. Yeah. Uh, let's see, super plush, that should be the final one. Yep, that's it, perfect. All right, preparations are almost complete. One more thing to do and then we're ready to move on. <laughs> Taxi cab's driving away. All right, PSI beta teleport back to Saturn Valley. The time is getting close. These kind of like pre, I don't know, these preparation videos kind of suck. From a viewer standpoint, it's not like we do much. They're kind of boring. It's like, what do you do? You're watching me going shopping in a game. It's not that exciting. So, and I don't have much to talk about, like I said. So this video is just going to be kind of a, a boring video, unfortunately. But I want to show it because it is part of the game. You know, this preparation is, is important. So what I want to get here actually is the night pendant. And the reason why is because it's going to definitely help Paula because there's a chance that we can get hit by flash really bad. So we'll do that. Nope, don't need anything else. We are pretty much good to go. I don't think I slept yet actually since the last episode when they were delivering, or when we delivered the Zexanite to the phase distorter. So we'll do that real quick too, just to make sure we're fully healed. And then we're gonna advance the plot. This is the hotel, isn't it? I think it is. Yes, it is, okay, cool. Do you want slumber? Yes, I do. I fell asleep <laughs> on the floor <laughs> like a few minutes before coming down here to record. I was just laying on a pillow while my son was playing and then all of a sudden I woke up and nobody was down there anymore because he was up for a nap. Ah, all right, Dr. Ananas, finally it's complete. The Phase Distorter version two it is equipped with two new features. First, it can repair your biological functions. Sweet. Second, it can save your progress. Perfect. Don't be afraid, get right in. There's just one thing though, you might not be able to return. So make sure you're optimally outfitted and we are ready to go. If you're not 100% perfectly completely ready, we should, <laughs> well, you should be as prepared as possible. Yeah, we are, we're good to go. Yeah, I'm ready, trust me. I'm prepared. The time has come, let's do it. Phase Distorted version two. Yes, it's equipped with two features, I know. Okay, perfect. Let's do it. Here we go. The moment we've all been waiting for. Look at this. We're back to this magical cave. Cave of the past. And this crazy weird music. Huh. Oh, who do we have here? Greetings, so you're finally here. Excellent. You are truly excellent. There's only a little bit of time left. I'll give you the last power. I must go now. Who became conscious of PSI Starstorm Omega? Oh, yeah. I love it. Alright. Ooh. Mr. Saturn. Kidnapped. I was. Kidnapped. Bad guy. Bad guy gone. Zoom. Where? To the past. Hmm. Interesting. Tom checked the broken phase distorter. There's a horn of life. Paula got the horn of life. Hmm. This is such a weird thing, whatever that is. What does it symbolize? I wonder what it's supposed to symbolize. Who's this? Huh. The phase distorter has been completed. We could finish it quickly because of Mr. Saturn's incredible scientific skill. Gygus is attacking from our exact location, but he's attacking from many years in the past. Interesting. So we're going back in time? We must warp to the past and fight, but, but what? No problem here, okay. Guess I go back to the other one? 
Input your command. Let's life up, I guess. I don't know. What else am I gonna do? Okay. Feel like I'm stuck here. Oh wait, they've moved. What's going on? This is very hard for me to tell you, but... Hmm. He wandered off. He won't tell us anything. Why won't you speak to me? Uh, well, I hate doing this and leaving us with cliffhangers. Not that... Cliffhangers don't exist on a game that's been out for, like, as long as I've been alive for, so... <laughs> that's stupid to say. This game's, what, 26 years old? 28 years old, actually, I think? Whatever. 27, maybe. So... It's not really a cliffhanger, but we are out of time for this episode, so I don't want to go ahead and start what's next until we have a full episode's worth of time in front of us. So in part uh, 74, we're going to talk to Dr. Andonuts and see what the hell he can't tell us. So I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching, and take care.